it sure is misty and it sure is drizzly. Land's End is a mile away. So that's the first leg of the journey done when I get there. drive to Land's End and uh, drove out again. It was misty, it was busy, there were far too many people there, there was no photo opportunities and it just didn't look very nice. I've been there before but I just wanted to say that I've been there on this trip so that's what I've done. I'm in Senning Cove now just down the road from Land's End and uh, we're going to have a look see what's about but it's so misty I might just park up and do some editing for the rest of the day because you can't see it blooming anything well it's quite a nice little view to sit down with my laptop for an hour or so so it's Southern Cove just down the road from Land's End but Land's End is chock-a-block with people I just don't like that many people in any one space it just freaks me out um, not that I'm antisocial I just don't cope well with lots of people. So, um, there's actually a couple of shots here I could take. I like this little jetty thing. I'll show you in a minute. Um, with the mist in the background. Anyway, I'm tired now, I need a coffee. I'm gonna go and put a couple of hours parking on the car, uh, on the van, and then I'll do some editing. Maybe go for a walk. That's it, cheers. Misty, bloody wet country. Bloody hell. Where's the sunshine gone? Oh, I'm still recording. So this is Senin Cove. Uh, it has the award for the most expensive sausage and chips that I didn't buy. They want £6.50 for a battered sausage and £4 for a portion of chips. Fuck that for a game of soldiers. I'm going back to the van cook myself up some beans that's ridiculous isn't it I think I head straight up to the bloody Brecon Beacons now I'll do North Devon I'm going to carry on around the coast but the weather's pretty shit and uh, it doesn't look like it's going to improve so I look at the weather forecast, I'm suddenly really down now, aren't I? I'm not. I'm quite happy. Well, that's ridiculous. £6.50 for a battered sausage. Senon Cove takeaway. Shame on you. So no takeaway for me. I'll cook something up. This is Senon Cove, it's nice. It's a bit quieter than Land's End. Uh, misty. Typical seaside town. Right, I'm off. There's a couple of images I'm going to try and capture of the uh, the jetty, the old jetty, and maybe the lifeboat ramp, and then I'm out of here. Who needs sausage and chips anyway? No advertising, it's Coke. So, excuse me. So I did find a little news agent, old fashioned, tired looking little news agent. And all the prices were like normal, like a proper normal shop. I spoke to the guy about it. He said, yeah, the reason prices are going up is because they buy all their stuff from Booker Cash and Carry, which is owned by Tesco. Tesco. So I wonder who's controlling and pushing up all the prices. Seeing as Tesco have bought the Cash and Carry for all the independent traders. <laughs> it makes you wonder, doesn't it? That's a bit outrageous. That's a bit of a cartel. A bit of a monopoly. Thank you. Anyway, just a thought. Oh, there's some waves crashing over there. Just over there. Oh, it's tempting, isn't it? I haven't got a long enough lens. Never mind. So I've left uh, Sunning, Sunning Cove. I think it's Sunning Cove. Um, and Land's End behind me. 
I've decided to move up around the coast and I was headed just outside Newquay but I decided I was going to go and stop at uh, St Ives quickly. I think that's where my parents honeymooned or went on holiday or something like that so I have been there once before but I think I'll go up there quickly again now. I don't think there's much parking up there. The The trouble is they don't like off-road parking and random parking for overnighters but I have found a place just off just near New Quay so um, it's apparently got a friendly farmer who doesn't mind you being there and checks on you and all that kind of stuff brings me fresh eggs and bacon in the morning maybe who knows but that's the way I'm headed uh, up to St Ives it's still misty so no no photo chances today or many anyway so I'm headed up that way and uh, I'll catch up with you when I get there Cheers.